All right, we do have some breaking news to report now following our reporting from Cheektowaga about the town highway department and a private project. The town attorney told two on your side just minutes ago that the Erie County DA's office has assigned a prosecutor now to investigate the use of town equipment and its staffers. Channel 2's Ron Plants broke this story yesterday and today he talked with the elected highway superintendent. Here's his surprising response to Ron's tough questions. It's these pictures of a town of Cheektowaga highway worker and a town bucket truck fixing a flagpole on private property that's raising questions for the highway superintendent who told the property owner. And I said our truck is down, but as soon as it's fixed, we'll send a crew over just to put it back up for you. I don't see a problem with that. Um, and then all hell broke loose. It broke loose as the union representing town staffers contacted us with this concern. We were upset that union the town employees, our union members, were being put in a compromising position. And that is, under New York State Constitution, Article 8, Subsection 1, prohibits the use of public monies or public resources for private individuals or private purposes. So Weiss went to the town board meeting last night. At least one board member, glad he did. Too much of this stuff has been buried, and I commend the people that finally came forward and tried, tried to keep themselves out of trouble and do what's right for the taxpayers. Today, Superintendent Wagner saying the flagpole rope and solar light work was done at a medical professional office operated by a veteran and volunteer firefighter, and he guessed it was done in a few minutes for town employees. Again, using town trucks parked on Borden Road and at least three employees making $20 or more an hour. Is this strictly a favor? No, it's not a favor. We would do that favor for anybody. If you want to call it a favor, that's fine, but we, I would do it for anybody. As taxpayers, people are going to look at this and say, what else has the town highway department done for people? Wouldn't they? I don't see that, no. Could be technically in violation of the state constitution. It could be in violation, but we hung a flag. Don't you take an oath, sir? Yes, I did. And did you take an oath to uphold the state constitution? Yes, I did. Well, if this is possibly in violation, as you admitted it possibly could, wouldn't you be in violation of the state constitution? Spank me. I, that's that's what you, that's your answer to taxpayers. <laughs> that's my answer. When you hear that you are possibly violating the state constitution. It'll never be done again. I'll t I can guarantee the taxpayers that it'll never be done again. All right, back to the breaking news development in all of this. Cheektowaga Town Attorney John Dudziak told us prosecutors are looking again into the use of town employees and equipment for personal use. He also said the DA's office is looking into allegations of harassment of employees at the town highway department raised by the employees union to us yesterday. Something we'll continue to investigate as well. For now, I'm Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.